What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Dave Cave Dave review. I'm Dave, coming at you from the Dave Cave, and tonight I am taking a look at this Marvel Legends series Green Goblin from the Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Oh boy, this guy is going to be a hot piece of A. That's a hot piece of action figure, guys. Please get your minds out of the gutter, guys. Please. This is a PG channel. I'm keeping it. I'm trying to keep it PG for everyone. You know that. Alrighty. So, look, before we get into Norman over here, I just have to say I hit 250 subs today. Got to say how stoked I am with that, guys. Seriously, if you've been along for the ride, it's only a couple of videos. Do not know how I got to 250 subs so quickly. I guess I'm doing something right. I guess it's just that Lobo review that I got uh, up super early. That thing's doing super well compared to the rest of my videos. But you know what? It's all love, man. And I'm feeling it. You guys are all super positive in the comments. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much if you've shown me any small amount of love. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. If you want to see more of me, um, yeah, I've been loving doing this. And you know what? Let's get into it right now, guys. So here we go. It is Norman Osborn. It's the Green Goblin himself from No Way Home here. Spidey's third movie in the MCU with Mr. Tom Holland playing uh, Spider-Man there. But you know what? What an awesome flick, guys. What an awesome, awesome, awesome movie. So many surprises. And you know what? I'm going to spoil it tonight for you. Why is Willem Dafoe Green Goblin in an MCU Spider-Man movie? Did they bring another one back? Yes, they did, guys. But no, it's not like uh, them bringing JJJ back. They brought this guy back in a bit of a multiversal twist there because not only did we have Tom Holland in that movie, but we had Toby, we had Andrew. That's right, we got the amazing Spider-Man back and we got the Raimi Spider-Man back, guys. And we got some villains. We got some Norman Osborn from the Raimi films. We got some Doc Ock from the Raimi films. We got Sandman from the Raimi films. And then we got Electro and we got the Lizard from the amazing film. So what an awesome film. It was my first time seeing Matt Murdock in the MCU as well. I'm just going out there and spoiling it all, guys. But, um... Oh, what an awesome, awesome viewing experience. That was just a great movie. So many, so many cheering moments, so many fist pump moments. Yeah, just a great film. And I am stoked to be able to add this guy to my little Marvel Legends shelf over there. I haven't done a Marvel Legends review yet, guys, but I've got a, I got a, I got a juicy little Marvel Legends collection. I know it's mostly been DC and Star Wars and, you know, a couple of other bits and bobs, but I'm, I'm, I love my Legends, guys. You'll, you'll come to learn that about me. But anyway, let's have a look at the box here, guys. There's the front. There's the side. We've got, uh, is that a render? Yeah, that's a render. More renders at the back. Looks like I'm going to be getting an articulated goblin glider there with a flight stand whoo this must be a deluxe set um got the uh who yeah the sam raimi goblin mask got the hood got the goggles got the pump and bomb and look we got this handsome bastard right here mr willem dafoe Jeez, man i'm gonna have fun with this there's some art and there's the top there's the bottom and kadoosh guys i'm gonna crack this guy open so please kick back get comfy just hover over the city there in your goblin glider. Keep your pumpkin bombs at the ready because it's going down. Peace. Kadoosh once again, guys. All right, I just observed something funny while I was unboxing my friend here. Um, so, yeah, obviously the no window on the outer box would imply that we're doing a plastic-free packaging kind of a situation, but... Uh, this is what I happened upon in my... Did I just knock over? Oh, sorry, Batman 66. Um, uh, this is the inner uh, packing box, and uh, there we go. Um, plastic tray on the inside. Isn't that funny? Now, I've got to say, I'm not a big fan of plastic trays because they take up so much bloody room in the recycling bin. I just took a literal boot full of cardboard and plastic to the tip earlier today to drop it all off because um yeah it, like I, I didn't have any room for it in my recycling especially not at Christmas time but anyway I digress let's uh let's get back to the unboxing peace 
We are back, boys and girls. Norman is unboxed here. What are we going to look at first? Let's do our accessories one at a time. Let's do this guy right over here. All right, the Goblin Glider. Uh, as far as I can see, it looks pretty great at uh, at you know at first glance. Uh, from the top here, some really nice little bits of tech showing. It's got a like textured, greedy kind of surface. Uh, you know, clean kind of purple paint apps on the top there. Other than that, it's pretty clean, pretty straightforward. It's just the gunmetal and that purple. Well, oh, these two bits here are articulated, and these are, I assume, where the stirrups right there will plug into, and where our boy uh, Gobby will uh, stand um, on. I, should I keep calling him Gobby? If anyone's Australian, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, the rest of you, um, Urban Dictionary. Uh, the underside here, check this out. Some nice bits of machinery. We've got some green paint in the front vent there. Not sure if you can see that. We've got some green paint just under the missiles here and on the other side, and then some green paint in the, uh, you know, the thrusters on the back there. Uh, it looks like, guys, from the back, there's one, two, three, four hinges, metal rod there, two, three, and four. Uh, however, I can only seem to get the outer two to hinge. Have no idea. I've flexed, I've twisted, I've tried everything. I have no idea what the hell is going on with these two. I don't know if they are um, hinges. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's just like assembled that way. It's just, you know, it, it, it's just additional pieces and they're just like, they use a rod to keep it on nice and uh, stiff there. But yeah, look, very nice Goblin Glider, much better than what we got with Hobgoblin in the retro card and the Green Goblins we've gotten before. But, um, look, I think they kind of had to step it up because look, he's a pretty big deal love that we got this figure guys absolutely stoked that we got this figure let's have a look at the helmet here now if that just ain't a blast from should be everyone's past i mean come on why else are you watching this channel if this movie doesn't hold some sort of nostalgia for you love it or hate it it's gotta uh, it's gotta sit prominently in your mind uh when you think of um superhero flicks i mean seminal stuff i actually really really dislike this mask always did up until um i saw it in no way home and i was like okay do you know what um yeah i like it <laughs> uh yeah i had to kind of get the nostalgia feels for it from the Raimi film in order to um in order to kind of really appreciate the mask. It, it is a good likeness for the comic version, I think. And, um, you know, it's kind of ridiculous enough, um, you know, that it works in retrospect, I guess. But yeah, that looks cool. Uh, let's do the stirrups next. These are pretty straightforward. This is how the figure came in the box, guys. These are all the separate bits. So he does have his cowl on him and his goggles there but these i assume will port straight in here yep oh it looks like there is a left and a right and i think i think i've got this right all right i think i've got this right okay yeah so that should be fine and then they can you know hinge left and right and it can pivot in that little uh in that little kind of rotation point of uh, articulation there. So that's nice. And then um, underside here, obviously the hole here is for the flight stand. Now this flight stand um, has, uh, has been a stalwart of the uh, Hasbro, you know, mini vehicles uh, in the six inch scale for a while now. It came with the uh, Black Series scout troopers with um with their speeder bikes sorry i'm drawing blanks here guys definitely came with the speeder bikes yep like because i have the mandalorian one and i have the original blue line version and i'm gonna just check if it comes with um no it does not come with um the Enfus Nest on Speedo. But um, I'm pretty sure one of these was included with a previous version of uh, Green Goblin as well. Now, the interesting thing about this flight stand is that... 
Let's move that back a little bit. Um, you can have it low or you can have it high. Uh, you can have it on this side. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, should we try low today? Yeah, let's try low. Alrighty, so I'm gonna port that on just like that. And uh, yeah, it fits in nicely. I'm pretty, I think I remember one of my uh, Black Series uh, speeder bikes being a real pain to uh, port in to that, um, that socket there. But uh, yeah, that went in really nicely. I don't know if it's just because we're in summer here in Australia and uh, yeah, we're feeling the heat, but that went in nicely. And that looks, that looks just fine. Sorry, Mr. Helmet Man. And then we've got our pumpkin bomb. Now this pumpkin bomb uh, will fit right into this hand. We do not have any alternate hands. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and pop this in right here. And uh, there it is. That will never leave that hand for the rest of my days. So let's continue to have a look at our accessories. That actually fits in really nicely, super tight, and it's actually quite difficult to rotate it. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the accessories on his head. I'm just gonna remove his head. And actually while I'm here, I'm gonna chuck on the original Gobby helmet. And uh, whoa, look at this guy. Lovely stuff, guys, oh man. Uh, Marvel Legends, love my Marvel Legends, especially when it's uh, good stuff like this, tell you what, um, alright Gobby, look mean for us, yeah, alrighty, so the, uh, the Willem Dafoe head, so that uh, cowl kind of just comes off, that'll sit over there, I wonder if that's reuse from one of our uh, many um, G.I. Joe classified cows that we've gotten. We've gotten a few ninja cows recently, um, but I don't know. Look, it's it's ripped there, so maybe it's uh, maybe it's not. They're going with the torn aesthetic of the upper body on Gobby here, and then the goggles come off. But um, I don't think I'll pose this guy with the goggles, guys. I think those goggles will go into storage, and he will either be on display with the goblin helmet on or with the Willem Dafoe head here. And Holy jeez, guys. Look at that likeness. That is fantastic. It's great. It's not like, it's not perfect, but it's damn good enough. Look at that. The little gap in the teeth and everything. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> that's great. All righty. Good stuff, guys. So that's all the accessories. Let's have a look at Gobby himself. Um, we're going to have a little look at the detail on this guy, and then we will stop and do articulation in the next segment. I'm going to try something a little new, because I feel like the articulation segment is getting a bit boring, and I would like to do something else to make my videos stand out. So just on the front here, guys, we can see this piece. Um, it kind of, it does just fit over the arm here, and uh, it would, it will probably remove just fine. Let's try and remove that, actually. Um, all right, get, I just need to get it over the, uh, the peg here for the neck peg. Um, am I doing something wrong here? Maybe I need to get it over the shoulder first and then try the neck. Yeah. All right. Just a little bit over the shoulder, then over the neck and the rest should come out nice and easy there's lots of little bits kind of little protrusions on this guy's um on this guy's suit which made that a little tricky like there's i don't know these like whatever they are vials or um you know, shotgun shells or whatever the hell they are but uh yeah made it a little uh little tricky he looks kind of weird i guess um look kind of weird without the purple is he kind of, yeah, that purple really like breaks up the green really nicely. Was he all just 100% green in the original Raimi film? I'm drawing a blank here. This is definitely not the original suit. I remember more like ribbed joints and stuff like that. This guy does not have any like ribbed joints and that neck is just skin, which is a shame. Uh, it'd be great if they kind of gave us a, you know, you get those heads that um, have the separate neck uh, piece 
uh, and the alternate head has its own neck piece as well. That would have been a nice touch here. It is a deluxe after all, uh, but have a look at this little uh, hoodie, purple hoodie overlay, nice and torn there. Really nice touch, guys. Looks fantastic on the figure. And yeah, I don't like it. Um, <laughs> off the figure i mean the figure is nicely detailed really nicely detailed with lots of nice little touches um little intricate kind of these uh yellow like webbing i don't want to say webbing because it's not quite webbing but like these little um stringy yellow bits uh kind of um yeah really nicely detailed and painted there there's no like wash or dry brush effect but the plastic that this guy is cast in is um like a pearlescent green and it just looks fantastic there guys still got the little flashes of the purple there a bit of the hoodies kind of still stuck on the arm there as i said these little touches here these i don't know what these are rockets or something over here we've got the more rockets on the uh gauntlet there and some blades uh we've got this pouch here guys oh yeah gobby always has his pouch doesn't he that's a nice touch yeah that had come off too i'm sure if i uh poked and prodded and you know eased and whatnot but uh we'll just leave that um but yeah lots of really nice touches on the legs there as well um yeah really overall just like a really nicely detailed figure we've got all these bits painted on the front but in traditional hasbro style we've just got these bits painted on the back and then all of this emitted just kind of left off so this bit's purple bit on the uh, right side leg back of the right side leg is not all this stuff unpainted so yeah pretty standard hasbro stuff you know give the front the uh the full um you know go the whole nine yards on the on the front with the paint and kind of you know go bare bones on the back uh but look whatever it is what it is this is a deluxe piece so it would have been nice if they did kind of go all out but um yeah i guess uh that's what we've gotten um i will go through articulation in the next segment but that is that is our set guys that is our gobby with his glider and all of his separate little bits his hoodie in two pieces his uh alternate head and his goggles there looks fantastic what a great little deluxe set paint could have been nicer on this guy we could have had a bit more paint on that but that works totally fine as is but overall really really nice all right we'll be back with articulation peace <laughs> kids time for some comparisons here we have our no way home green goblin standing next to the marvel legends villains wave ultron and red skull next we have him standing next to the joe fix it wave kang the conqueror and x-men 97 magneto now i sadly don't have a lot of mcu but here he is standing next to no Way Home, Integrated Suit Spider-Man, and Thanos from the Iron Man 2-pack. Now, here he is, staying next to the retro card, 
Spider-Man animated series Green Goblin, and the retro card Hobgoblin, an absolute turd of a figure. Now here he is next to another two animated series retro card figures. It's the OG Spider-Man and Electro. And in a slightly different scale, here he is standing next to the Long Halloween Joker by DC Direct and the Jack Kirby's New Gods Light Ray by DC Direct. Chicky check it, boys and girls. I am back. Time to give you my final verdict on Mr. Norman Osborne here. And i got to say, overall, this guy is a fantastic action figure. Probably my number one Marvel legend of the year. I did not buy a lot in 2023. So it's safe for me to say that he is my top Marvel legend of the year. Love that we get the Sam Raimi helmet. Love that we get a fantastic and just downright creepy Willem Dafoe head sculpt. I mean, just look at that there, guys. He is just smiling right there while he's, you know, threatening to uh, spill my guts all over the floor and explode my toy room right about now. Um, yeah, that, I mean, just overall fantastic accessories, great articulation, and a great accessory in the Goblin Glider. Now, there are some drawbacks. Now, after one night of pose and play, some of these joints are a little loose. So, specifically, it's these thigh cuts right here. Really, really loose, guys. And I noticed that when I was using my multiverse flight stand there during my posing segment and I was trying to grab the lower part of his thigh and the figure was just like flipping upside down because that joint was so loose I don't know if it's just oh, I got a dodgy one but yeah really really uh, noticing the looseness of those thigh cut joints and I gotta say the wrists guys um, I have been T twisting those ever so gingerly in in order to get some articulation out of them and i gotta say they feel like they are like like the the peg itself is twisting rather than rotating inside of that wrist socket so yeah it really feels like if i push too hard i'm just going to snap those hands off and you know i do have uh you know thinking it was articulation but really it was the peg just twisting ptsd because as i said that did happen to one of the accessories in my haslab galactus it also happened to my donatello and my necca tmnt 90 figures so uh, it also happened to a dr fate in the multiverse recently twisted his hand right off but i think that was a common thing with that figure i uh, ended up getting a replacement but with the rarity well the popularity, I should say, of this guy. Um, I really don't want to risk sending him back to Amazon. Yes, guys, I fed the beast on this purchase. Don't want to send him back to Amazon and risk it being refunded because, well, they just have none in stock. So, um, yeah, I'm just being ever so gentle with these, uh, with these, the rotation in these wrists, I should say. So, yeah, overall, a fantastic figure. Love the way that this glider was engineered. Got to end with, uh, got to do the sandwich, right? The positive, the negative, and then the positive again, right? So, um, it's the compliment burger. Um, so loving the articulation in the Goblin Glider. Um, we all know that there is a baseline level of fidgetiness with six inch vehicles, but I gotta say with this guy and the articulation in his legs and in the stirrups itself, these stirrups are a genius idea because the way that they hinge like that and rotate in those, um, in those little joints there really just lets you get this guy on nicely and once you figure out that the um posing this guy on the glider is in as much as how you pose the stirrups as it is the figure itself then you're just going to unlock that knowledge and have a great time posing him up guys so you can't get him to crouch right down that does get a little awkward but you know you do it does kind of give you the option to kind of flex those wings while he is on there and you can kind of get some new poses while he's already on there but um yeah look it's it's really overall a great figure and um yeah 
got to say, it is an essential if you're into the MCU at all, or just, you know what, into Spidey figures at all, because look, Willem Dafoe, Green Goblin, iconic, and are we going to get another Norman Osborn in the MCU? I do not think we will, guys. I think there is that line in No Way Home where Norman says, uh, there's no Oscorp in this universe, or something like that. So uh, yeah, he might be the last movie Green Goblin we get for a while. So yeah, fantastic stuff there, guys. Pretty much makes him essential in my book. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit me with a like. Hit me with a sub. Hit the notification bell if you like my style and you want to see more of me, guys. Thank you so much once again for getting me to 250. And it's official. I'm announcing it now. I have got a sponsorship agreement with a toy retailer here in Australia. So news on that coming soon. On top of that, I'm announcing it here now. Once I get to 500 subs, I will be doing a room tour video. So yeah, the full room, not just this corner that you guys keep seeing. And yeah, the flashes of left and the flashes of right as I do my uh, little pan edits. So yeah, at 500 subs, room tour reveal. This review's gone on too long. Thank you so much once again, guys. I'm Dave, coming at you from the Dave Cave. Catch you on the next one. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.